I wanted to work in the arts. I didn't like my chances of making a living being an artist. <laughs> and um, I felt it was really important to be able to either be an art teacher or once I got to Kofa and realised all the different positions that were at my fingertips, it was then important for me to work out with art, what could I do? What, what kind of job could I do, whether it was being in a classroom teacher or moving on to the role that I do now, it was um, something that I couldn't get away from really. It was just no. there. Yeah. I, yeah. I, was ne I can't imagine my life without it. What I find most interesting is when you can get somebody who's not part of the art world to get it, and that's really cool. So I've got a younger cousin who was doing his year 12 area of study and the, the topic was belonging. And he had to have an additional text, and like something that he knew about to write about in his exam. And uh, it's always the same. And the markers get sick of it because it's the same thing, that students use the same extra material every time. But I thought I might try and shake him up and do something a little bit different. So he was in Sydney on a trip and I took him to the Art Gallery of New South Wales to see Lynn Onus's fruit bats and we had a really big conversation about belonging to uh, in uh, uh, belonging to indigenous culture but also having uh, a connection to his non-indigenous heritage and um, and we had a lot of conversation around that and that was one moment where i can go he, for my younger cousin the exposure to an artwork and what you can understand through engaging with artwork is what made him get a get a concept in a more sophisticated way than all of the texts he's read in, he'd read in his English class was going to allow him to do. So, I think that's um, that's one of my nice sort of moments where I've gone yes, having the capacity to engage with art and use it as a as a learning tool um, is definitely a life choice that I'm really pleased that I went down. I want to take those knowledges that I've learnt and that information and you know put it towards my students and teach them about you know there's not just traditional art but you can expand and explore art in so many ways. I wasn't really engaged with any other subjects at school and and once art picked up and I learnt that I was a visual learner and I could learn through images and, and actually portray um, emotions or feelings or statements through art, um, it sort of clicked and, and I figured I need to push this forward and, and let other people know that this is an avenue for all those things. Visual arts really allowed me to kind of relate my personal experiences to learning and I found that a much more successful approach than some of the other kind of authoritative and top-down subjects like maths and science and I think especially in Indigenous communities where this notion of the narrative and community are such uh, influential factors. You know, the visual arts really provide a solid foundation for students to grasp onto uh, learning and provide opportunities for them to, to feel comfortable and like they're achieving something in the classroom where other, other subjects might not. And as for the visual arts, enriching my journey. I think it's become more than that now where my journey is more about enriching the lives of others.